Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the repeat radial tool in Illustrator. So what I have here is a fish, and what I wanna do is I wanna rotate it around a 360 radius and also make duplicates of it. So this cool tool in Illustrator 2021 is you wanna click on the fish and you wanna click on object on the top left menu. What you wanna do is go down to repeat. You've got three options here. You've got radial, grid, and mirror. I'm just gonna show you how to use the radial today. So you wanna click radial, and what it's going to do is it's going to add duplicates, also known as instances of the original icon of that fish. So if you go to the top left corner, you can see it's got radial repeat. At the moment, it's got number of instances eight. I wanna just decrease this so I can use my mouse wheel and drag down or I can just click the thing. And you can see I can decrease it. I can increase it by a lot, but I don't wanna lose um, the detail of the full fish. So I'm probably gonna do it a bit less might do it around four or five, five looks cool. And another cool thing is that you can actually adjust the radius. So at the moment, the radius is 190. So I can decrease that. As you can see, I'm just using shift in my mouse wheel over the little bar there. And I can decrease it to make it sort of wider. So it's just basically the inner radius. So I can increase it like that. The other cool thing, instead of doing it in the top left corner where the menu bars are, you can actually do it here so if I click here, you can see I can adjust the radius like that. I'm gonna control Z. I can also limit the space of where I want it to be on the line, on the path. So I can actually limit it to the left side and not have it on the other side. Um, I can bring it back as well. So make sure it's like showing the full thing. And then you've also got the instances so I can drag this down. Um, you can see on the right side, but I just don't like it. It's a bit flimsy, so I prefer to do it from the top left, um, in my opinion. And I'm just going to decrease that. And then there we have it. And then what I want to do, I can just go to object and click expand. So go down to expand and click OK. And it, it's basically just going to apply it as a group and get rid of the effect. And then I can uh, <laughs> ungroup it. And then now I've got all these separate pieces. So maybe I want to like change the color or something. I don't know to make it look interesting or whatever it is, or maybe I'm working on a logo or, you know, something cool, I don't know. Um, you know, we can always play around with that. We wanna create something cool. So that's how you use the repeat radial effect in Illustrator. Hope you guys enjoyed these quick tutorial. Remember to hit the like button because it lets me know if you wanna see more of this and smash the subscribe button because I post graphic design and branding content every week. I really appreciate you. Thanks so much. I chat to you next time.